Hi all, I have a special treat for you today, if I can pull it off. It's one of the wildest and weirdest and craziest games you're ever likely to see on YouTube. <laughs> the names of the players are also quite amusing. The player with right, Christopher Van Der Lu, <laughs> was playing against Hasseling, so apparently in a weekend tournament in Holland, 1983. It's actually one of the more notable games at Chess Gamescom for that year. And the other games are usually, you know, high profile players like Sparov, Karpov. So these two unknowns have managed to create this absolutely fascinating, wild, crazy game. Let's begin the journey of this game. E4 from Christoph van der Loo. <laughs> okay, so we have E5. We have this two knights defense coming up so we have the two knights i know it's very creative the name of the defense the two knights defense and knight g5 very aggressive so this could lead to the dreaded fried liver attack but here we have what's known as the traxler counter <laughs> traxler counter attack and this is actually the King March line identified by Chess Gamescom. This move is not meant to be as good as D5. The main move is this Gambit D5. It's thought to be quite good for black, or well, at least equal. So this this line is crazy. Knight takes F7. This is an invitation by black. But we have Bishop takes F2 check. It's a crazy line. Knight takes E4 check, King E3. Now black plays Queen E7. And here white plays c3, you might think, well, your first question of many might be knight takes h8, and you're kind of right. This this is this is playable if you know what you're doing. For example, like this. This position. Uh yeah, this is variations I've worked out before. Apparently white's slightly better here. Because think, you know, he's he's won a rook over there. He can he can afford to give up his queen. It's hair raising, just it gives gives you an idea of the nature of of the stuff we're about to see. So yeah, so let's just replay that. So we've won a rook there, we've won a knight. We lose our queen, but we win another bishop after doubling the pawns to take out that um that aggressive knight. This is good material for for the queen sack so yeah that's okay white's slightly better okay uh now white actually played though c3 instead of knight takes rook so we have knight d4 i know absolutely crazy what is going on already but this is the king march line as previously mentioned so we have king takes e4 actually this there might be an interesting interest in looking at d3 here apparently this might be a strong move for example d5 d takes d takes c4 take the rook queen f6 queen f1 check it's it's hair raising stuff but apparently uh white is you know better here white's better after that so so that that's another idea instead of the king taking on e4 to play d3 but we have king takes e4 and now queen h4 check king e3 check king d3 and now d5 so opening up the bishop here rapidly bishop takes d5 check king c4 and now b5 check this looks scary for the white king right and after queen h4 the threat is actually a mating two of queen e7 and just just for this specific game i thought I need I need a standard way of demonstrating the threat to you easily, and sometimes I'm just playing move h3 to just demonstrate the threat, so you can see it more clearly. So here, um, if we play just to demonstrate the threat, it's queen e7 check, and then we're mating there, so it's actually like quick mate there. So threatened with queen e7, we have knight takes e5 being played which changes the picture somewhat because that undermines the knight. The king can potentially take the knight now. We have black castling, still extremely dangerous. And 
just to demonstrate the fret if black was left alone here I'm again gonna insert the move h3 white actually played c4 but say he plays h3 we have rook takes d5 check queen d8 check and it's just it's going to be mate like this mate on d6 wherever the king goes in fact okay so the move c4 in this critical position c4 and we have rook takes d5 check rook d8 and again to demonstrate the threat i'm going to play the move h3 here again black is again threatening rook takes d5 check queen d8 check and eventually queen d6 checkmate so that's the threat again okay so against this we have knight c3 defending d5 knight c6 and now this is really really mind-boggling this position after knight c6 actually and you will not believe this but there's a move which engines come up with i'm, I'm going to name the particular engine i mean maybe you know it's it's houdini the commercial engine houdini without any any pruning <laughs> without any prunes it comes up with this move and it seems to think it's equal and the move played in the game is equally or no actually more absurd even so there's two really crazy moves in this position one an engine thinks is actually equal and it's crazy looking and the other that was played apparently so um what do i show you first the move that was actually played i think it will be difficult for you to guess this i think i'm going to award a special 1 million points on this special occasion if you can guess the move for white here you may have seen this game again in which case i can't award you those points but if you haven't seen this game before you want to try and guess white's next move i'll give you five seconds to pause the video and of course you can research it for ages if you want and try and guess what white played here it's it's completely crazy i'll give you a hundred thousand points for the engine suggestion which is equal as well so time to pause your video guys boys and girls and research this position white to play here by the way let me show you the threats just to make things easier if you want if h3 we have check there and then we have rook d6 checkmate so that's what one is threatened with here so ready to pause starting from now five seconds all right the move in the game is absolutely mental queen a4 i know it's mental <laughs> it's attacked by the pawn it's attacked by the queen uh it's been called the most stunning theoretical novelty on record by Soltis, apparently Th that was the game and which which continues with queen e7 check yeah <laughs> now while we're here let's let's have a look at the engine line queen g4 this is crazy as well i mean what the heck you might think bishop takes knight takes apparently this is gonna be uh okay it's gonna be equal apparently this yeah queen g4 whatever whatever white uh, whatever black does apparently it's equal with queen f2 check d4 take the queen we take on c6 this position apparently believe it or not is given as kind of equalish equal yeah <laughs> okay so we'll go back to queen a4 so queen a4 though was played queen a4 so black hair played queen e7 check the variation notes i'll give you a link as well It'll be in the description of the video by the way so queen e7 check it's really dangerous looking isn't it king takes b5 now here apparently the best move might be knight takes e5 this is really dangerous for white for example check d4 check 
and black's easily winning so knight apparently knight takes e5 could be a knockout blow in this position but uh white was fortunate then that queen takes e5 was played the game continues with queen c4 knight d4 check king a4 bishop d7 check king a5 the white king is going for the white's trying to go to the top left corner for some strange reason will it be an attacking piece from a8 how crazy is this knight c6 check king a6 knight b8 check king takes a7 yes high pitchness is called for on this occasion as the king marches to a8 c6 now apparently black might have missed something here queen d6 apparently according to engines might be a forced mate in in four actually for example queen c6 is given as the best move because white is threatened with queen b6 yeah it it looks remarkably bad if queen c6 is the suggestion if knight a4 bishop takes a4 and again we've got queen b6 queen b7 coming up so this is just hopeless stuff from the engine is just to prolong yeah not getting mated yeah and if king a8 i would suggest queen b6 is worth looking at to try and mate there um okay so uh yeah queen d6 was missed so instead we see c6 so black's been a good sport here with c6 we have knight b5 bishop f5 d4 check and the king reaches a8 this is funny isn't it the king reaching a8 <laughs> yeah i mean <laughs> it's it's mental we have queen e7 and it looks as though for example if black was left alone rook a7 check but then knight takes a7 it's not that clear is it it's check so what is black actually threatening anyway white plays d takes c6 um now here it seems white let black off actually with d takes c6 apparently bishop f4 is like plus 17 for white for example bishop d3 giving up the queen desperately why if h6 as an example bishop takes b8 and it's it's pretty crushing stuff it's crushing it looks pretty crushing okay so uh so white let off black they're very generous to each other in this game it's got to be said so we have bishop e4 a work of art is in progress though this king on a8 d5 we have two connected pass pawns as well alas one is taken now but now here after bishop takes d5 another crazy move can you guess if i give you five seconds white to play in this position so you might want to pause your video here five seconds starting from now okay queen takes d5 so deflecting the rook so that knight a7 check is now possible without being snapped off that easily king d8 and the king takes on b8 and there's severe threats now facing black if you look at this position like this forcing move bishop g5 could either lure the queen or rook away you know rook d1 or c7 check for c8 is dangerous there if either of those heavy artillery pieces are moved away they're they're guarding key squares the queen's guarding c7 right uh we have in this position after king takes b8 queen c7 check though apparently queen b4 check though would be a forced mate in five again white seems to be let off for his king walk so say bishop f4 taking we're just mating 
soon in short order the king on a8 yes so I, I wouldn't necessarily try this king walk at home to be honest there seems to be a few false mates which were let off so anyway we have this this queen c7 uh check instead king a8 now rook a5 can white save the situation here well there is a move i might have alluded to before to save the situation with the king on a8 if i give you five seconds here what would you play with white in this position okay bishop g5 check trying to get the rook away and all of a sudden actually that that is that is a bit tricky uh this position if the king tries to make a run for it then check here with this rook yeah ready for this one to come here so if king f7 then we just win the queen and we're winning there and if the king goes to f8 then we use this other one to drive the king to g8 and now yep checkmate so the king cannot make a run for it to the king side after this bishop g5 check in the game rook takes g5 was played so it was too dangerous to, to move the king over um we have rook ad1 check king e8 rook he1 check rook d7 so white's actually seemingly evicted the, the attacking pieces away from his king and the rooks are doubling now this all seems to be a bit good news now for for white rook b7 which kind of unpins the pawn ready for c7 rook c5 we have c7 now queen g4 check so that if king takes then it's c8 with check from the rook on b7 king e8 and now b4 the calm beam b4 interesting <laughs> isn't it we have rook c2 a4 yeah what what is black doing in this position he tries pushing his own h pawn here a5 h4 b5 white's getting very dangerous looking pawns and now is ready for the move knight c6 shielding the pawn from the rook h2 and in this position guess what white plays if i give you five seconds the final move of the game capping things off okay rook takes g7 and here uh black resigned remember the rooks being shielded from c8 so if queen takes g7 we have actually c8 and that is checkmate yeah <laughs> uh other things look really bad as well on queening actually we don't have to take we play rook b8 check yeah we make like this if queen c8 queen uh rook takes queen checkmate so yeah it's pretty bad uh whatever happens here it is pretty bad now this is critically lost for black finally without too much fuss so there's multiple threats including rook b8 rook takes g4 which can't be handled in this final position okay <laughs> now this is one game I actually I, I tried to sort of prepare for to show you at some point in the past and, and forgot about it but uh <laughs> you can't let those little setbacks put you off you know I, I I actually just wanted to show you this game but kind of to show you some aspects of this maze of variations and it's a flawed maze but you know as humans not computers we can appreciate beauty in flawed things uh 
so this is certainly a flawed thing but is it beautiful and interesting yes i would say it's beautiful and interesting and weird and wonderful i hope you did too okay comments questions likes all appreciated thanks very much